Mm -hmm. Two largest golden retrievers to ever have lived. They don't listen to humans. Ready? Waffle. Waffle. Chicken. Nothing. Hi everyone. We are doing a stay-at-home version of Iconic Eats today. Um, and seeing as I don't have access to a theme park right now, I'm gonna answer questions about the show. I don't really know, I'm, I'm Chelsea-less. I, do I look at you? I look at myself. I look cute, I put on makeup in a quarantine. Anyway, we're gonna answer questions about the show. We meaning me, by myself, here in New Jersey. Let's do it. <laughs> It occurred to me that maybe I should have drank before we started doing this. First questions first. What do I do with the leftovers? I have said it once. I will say it again. I mean, I guess I'll keep saying it until you hear me. Um, if I don't eat a food entirely, oh my, God, my dad's on a conference call. Ooh. I'm kidding, I love him, I appreciate him, he's great. If I don't eat the food, Chelsea takes her bite or two. We are never without a PR crew or an operations team in the park. They'll dig in. So please don't worry about food waste. We hear you, we understand it's not happening. Don't you ever question how much I can eat ever again. Also, I'm a hungry girl. I eat a lot of food. I don't know why that's so hard for you to believe. Moving away from leftovers, we've discussed. I get asked a lot if I can bring my own utensils to a park. We're looking into it. We've actually, someone like sent in the idea of maybe making like delish merch, which could be really fun. The knives are a bit difficult. I don't know if you guys have been to a theme park in the year of our Lord 2020, but um, you cannot bring a knife to a theme park. So please stop asking me about that. Julia the other day was like, what if we spork it? I was like, you know what? Yes. So, maybe delish sports soon, that could be fun. How do you deal with the criticism? I think you know how I deal with it. I head straight for the comment section. I read it all, I digest it into my heart and soul. I take it very personally. Um, and then I get meaner and meaner. Okay. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me unless it's something that is um, anti-Semitic or something that happens to hit on one of my deepest insecurities. There was a phase where a bunch of you pointed out that I don't have an upper lip and I was like, I know, I've known that since seventh grade. I don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. Um, that really upset me. Otherwise, I don't give a shit. I'm out here making crazy videos and a lot of people think they could do it better and I don't think they could. I think I'm really great at my job. A lot of the questions I got were about picking a favorite and least favorite place we filmed. To be clear, I'm never gonna tell you where my least favorite place was. I see merit in each of these parks in their own special way. God, my favorite park. I mean, I'll never not be partial to Magic Kingdom. That place brings me to tears at least once a trip. Hi everyone, we're here at Magic Kingdom. Something you've been asking for for a really long time whether it's because I'm drunk and tired. I don't like chocolate, I don't wanna eat it. I have to eat it. Or because um, I'm overwhelmed with emotion. Oh. No. Um, I also don't know that I will ever feel as happy as I did while I was in Dollywood. Wow. I'm good. Yeah, guys, I don't really want me to shit talk parks for. I'm not gonna do it, sorry. If I were to recommend just one Disney park for the food, what would it be? That's hard. So right off the bat, my gut says Epcot, but that feels like a very Hufflepuff answer to me, to tell you you should go to Epcot for the food. Um, we ate really well in Animal Kingdom. I hope everyone I love in this lifetime gets a chance to eat this sandwich. That's my answer. What happened to Chelsea on the morning of Galaxy's Edge? I told you I would never tell you. I don't think I told anyone about that ever. <laughs> I, don't think I literally we did not. What really? Okay, off camera, <laughs> Chelsea. Actually, that's not true. I said if you DM'd me, I would tell you, and I think I actually did tell a few people. Oh my God, he's back on another. It feels like 2004, and I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. 
do you actually love your job? Obviously, I love my job. What do you want from me? I'm in a terrible mood now. I mean, there's some things I really don't want on the internet, but I'm just so good at my job that I have to not care. I just looked down to drop my head in shame, and I saw confectioner sugar in my boobs, so that's that. Just because I'm not like Leslie Nope about it doesn't mean I don't love it, you guys. April Ludgate loved her job too. I want to say thank you. And I love you very much. It's just not how I roll. Sunshine and rainbows. Of course I love my job. And I feel very lucky. All the time. Um, to be able to do all facets of it, whether it is the park stuff or all the other stuff I do, which <laughs> nobody asked to bet. Whatever, you don't care. This is my dad on a conference call. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. How do you stay in shape in your business? I walk a lot. I try and move my body. Um, I do little tiny baby weights that are generally like the weight of like a turkey leg. <laughs> like, just imagine me deadlifting two turkey legs. Um, that's about it. But yeah, really none of your business. Does Chelsea try everything too? Literally, yes. There is not a thing, even if I say that I'm not gonna share it with Chelsea, I always share it with Chelsea. I'll share this one with you. You can have some. Mm. Yeah? It's so good. I told you. You do understand that the sass is performative. It's for the camera. So yes, of course I share it with Chelsea. I said I was gonna share it with you. I'm not gonna share it with you. Chelsea tries everything she loves. Any kind of pulled pork mac and cheese, she gets very excited. She's more of a savory person than a sweet one. In fact, whenever we go out to dinner after episodes, which we do do, she will order a mac and cheese side with her entree, no matter what, without fail, mac and cheese. Should I drink? No, oh my God. Do people recognize you as you're filming? Yes, I told you that I'm very famous in Florida. <laughs> um, no, but it happens elsewhere. People recognize us and people who are polite and excited um, are lovely. I love to meet people. I love to make new friends. That's not true. I actually really only have about like seven people in my life who I care about friends wise, but I'm glad to make new acquaintances. <laughs> Do people actually get drunk in parks? Yes. You are all f***ed up. When I say that I'm excited to meet people who are happy and polite, it's generally the drunken who jump in front of the camera and go, ugh, duh. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah! It's not funny. Who I'm not as excited to meet because like, kindly step off. Do you find there are certain popular foods you just can't stomach? Crab as a, as a protein, as a crustacean should not exist in theme parks. I, yeah, I don't know why there needs to be so much seafood in theme parks. Oh my god, I hate crab so much. We, we can all agree that that's not what's best for us collectively. No? What's been the most interesting part of coordinating these companies to go film in their parks? You're asking what is different from park to park or what's fascinating about them. I mean, each one has a very stringent set of rules that we have to follow and are happy to do so. Um, I always find that it's interesting that they have different names for their employees, cast members, team members, partners, whatever it may be, and it feels like a cardinal sin to mix them up <laughs> while you're in the wrong park, um, which I have done before and felt the need to apologize many times over. I'm not going to get into specifics. Don't you want to keep the magic alive? Mm. Yeah, I don't tell you anything. How do you think Pretzel Bay is doing? We eat this like this and you eat it like that. It's really delicious, trust me. Got it, okay. I just hope he's quarantining safely, honestly. I love him. I wish him all the best. If I weren't married, blah, blah, blah. Is there any episode you wish you could redo? Well, obviously no regrets. If I'm being totally honest, I wish I could give um, every episode where it was very hot a redo um i do think every park we go to deserves a shot at pleasant mood tests um like a california test kind of vibe i will not speak about myself in the third person yet i'm sorry that was disgusting but like legoland for example i'm not well 
Oh no, a kid wants it. What an all time low. Had it not been an actual swamp there, would I have had the best day? We'll never know, because I'll never go back. So yeah, I wish I could redo anything where it was, let's say 90 plus degrees. Can you rank top three looks from the episodes? No. Mm, I liked Cute and Coney. We're gonna have some hot dogs. We're gonna go on some rides at Ooh, a beak. <laughs> Mm, Hollywood Studios, number one. Did you miss me, Chelsea? No. <laughs> Don't lie to my f***ing face. When you drink, does Chelsea join you? Does she seem like someone who would miss out on anything? No. Can I get off-camera confirmation that this is vodka? Oh, you're gonna do it? It's vodka. I knew it was vodka. You didn't have to drink so much to tell me that. Do you do anything the day before to prepare? I, again, am just... <laughs> kinder to my body and I'm hydrating very well. I'm eating very nicely. I am spending time with my husband and my friends. That's not true. I actually do not spend time with anyone at all because I get anxious and I, I need quiet. <laughs> no, I just, I just eat really well. Um, I drink a lot of water. Chelsea and I always get water and bananas in the airport. And that's our breakfast. And almonds, we always have almonds. And then we get where we're going and we we knock it out. Will you do more New York City episodes? I hope so. How convenient and fun would that be? Would you be open to a dietary restricted app, gluten-free vegan? Of course I would be. I would love to do something like that. I do wonder how that actually would be on my body. I don't think my digestive tract would handle a vegan episode well. And I definitely ate corn just now. And I do have to take that into account before I agree to something like that, but sure, I would love to. Um, and I hope you have noticed that we're making a conscious effort to incorporate more vegan-friendly, vegetarian items into each episode. <sighs> Question. I don't know why I feel the need to show you that I'm eating, but um, I do, I just, I, I don't know what to do with my hands. Other than a turkey leg, what else do you have a hard time eating? I think this is turkey leg number six for me by this point. Good question. Funnel cake is not easy to eat when you're standing, um, though I have gotten good at it. I feel like once an episode, there's like a very thick sandwich that should be like a two-hander, but again, I don't have that luxury of sitting and enjoying myself. This is a sandwich that ideally you'd be sitting down to eat in a perfect world. So I'm gonna go with sandwiches and funnel cakes. Yeah. What? What? Okay, ask him, it's fine. Roger, which salmon am I using? Stop and chop, but then take a piece out of the other one and freeze the rest? I hope this hasn't been as painful for you as it is for me. Um, I mean that because I'm bad at it, not because it's not been fun. Um, Waffle, what are you doing? Okay. Um, are you always me with Julie and Chelsea? That's really the last question you want to ask. Um, no, we're all friends. Stop it. We're probably going to destroy Chelsea in the process. It's just kind of the game plan for today. Did you just audibly groan? <laughs> I have an asterisk audibly groan. I'm a very nuanced person, full of layers, hopes, dreams. Et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah. This has been fun. Um, we can tell ourselves that. I hope you're enjoying the show. I really, truly do. That means a lot to me and everyone who's reached out to say that it has brought them joy during an otherwise trying time has brought me to tears, which you will never see on the internet because I want you to think that I am stone cold. But I love you, I love this. Not this part, <laughs> it's just, Chelsea's gonna tear it to shreds. I love how my hair looks, truthfully. But no, this has been great. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you soon. Can't wait to be back out in the parks. I love you. This is well. He is bigger than me. He also doesn't give a shit.